Bible says about who should be baptized. And the examples we have clearly communicate that believers are to be baptized. That's one thing that makes us Baptists. <laughs> uh, in Acts 2, 41, we see Peter preaching on the day of Pentecost, saying, those who gladly received his word were baptized. So those who trusted in Christ and who responded to the gospel with repentance and faith were the ones who were baptized. In Acts 8, when Philip went to Samaria and preached the gospel, we read in verse 12, but when they believed, Philip, as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, both men and women were baptized. So when they believed, they were baptized. In Acts 10, when Peter preaches to Cornelius and his household, we read starting in verse 47, Can anyone forbid water that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. So we're going to continue in Acts, in Acts 16. When Paul preached to the Philippian jailer, we read in verses 32 and 33, Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he had all his fam he and all his family were baptized. Now when he had brought them into his house, he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed in God with all his household. So all the members of the household were believers. In Acts 18.18, 18, we see one more example in Paul's ministry. Then Crispus, the ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his household, and many of the Corinthians, hearing, believed, and were baptized. So finally we have the mode of baptism. Immersion. The word itself, the Greek baptizo, means to plunge, dip, or immerse. Only immersion symbolizes death, burial, in, into the water, and resurrection of new life coming out. Only immersion maintains the picture, the image of the reality that baptism signifies. And even John Calvin, who is at the heart of Presbyterian thinking, said that it's certain immersion was the practice of the early church. And we really only need one example, that of Christ, who there are many, but we have in Mark 1, verses 9 and 10, It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately, coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So there you have meaning, the mode, and, and who should be baptized. And so uh, we want to now hear from those we're going to be uh, baptizing today. But first, let's pray. Father in heaven, we uh, rejoice that you have worked in the hearts and souls of these men and women who are coming forward to be baptized. We rejoice that the Spirit of God, through the Word of God, has caused them to be born again to be raised from the spiritually dead to newness of life. We thank you for this time when we can be together to hear their testimonies and praise and worship you together. Help us, Lord, to edify and encourage them as they do the same for us. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So.